Hello there, this is Captain Obvious and welcome back to our Let's Play series How to Start Your City Organic Road Layout Episode 2. In this episode, we are going to focus on the two E's, which is education and economy. You need the education in order to have well-educated citizens to work on our high-density commercial and of course, you want the economy to thrive so that we could afford nice things such as unique buildings and better transportation and before that our main goal is to reach 1 million at around 11 to 12 K population and in fact what we're gonna do is we are gonna drain our income our current bank as you can see it is at 77 K we are going to drop it all the way down to nearly well as low as possible and we added in our university and our weewoos over there they're all doing their jobs and let's deal with our taxes this should have actually been done in episode or at milestone little hamlet and i just forgot this but this one here was actually available just now so don't forget to increase this and of course there's also the policy which i typically just use parks and recreation recreational use and harsh prison sentences other than that i don't do anything else and next of course we have the residential so we are gonna add a path all the way around on the coastline with this so we are gonna use the dirt roads so we're just gonna add a few here and then we need pathways in order for them to go in there and then our goal here is on each path there we are going to put in our commercial so that way they do not complain about not enough uh, not enough customers because there's a path there immediately and of course this entire area out out here will all be residential Alright, now that we have that out of the way, we are going to add in our park park gates and you typically want to put it right where the path is in. So I'm going to put one there, one here I can see and put one in between. And of course you just need, we're going to use the freeform tool. I actually need one more here. Freeform tool and we're just going to connect it together and of course we're going to add in our park building so that people have uh, something to visit along the coastline here. Alright, seems like we have a little bit of an emergency here because apparently we need more garbage. So we're going to take a break from building that and we are going to focus on the needs of the city. And while we're here, we are going to fix up our road network. We'll make this into a loop so that it is actually easier for our uh, vehicles to move in and out of this area. There, And we we'll might as well fix the traffic lights as well. And we're also going to update the uh, four lane intersections and we're gonna make uh, the top part into a one-way road and might as well just upgrade some of the road paths here so you want it to face downward because as you can see cars when they come in they tend to want to go straight right and that would cause traffic so instead you want them to take a an alternate route
All right, so now that after everything there has been taken care of, we are gonna go back to our parkways here. And actually, let's let's decorate this area before we do that. All right, so just before we add in our parks out here, let's check out how much we're actually earning. So as you can see, take note that we are at 5K weekly income with Park Life. And once we complete our, our loop, we are gonna check back on how much it is earning. All right, so we added our parks on the outside. We created a little park here for our university. And we I actually also want to kind of spruce this area up a little because I noticed that there's a lot of service buildings here. And it would be nice if there were more stuff that we could do. So what I'm going to do is we're going to add in pathway just to make this place a little more interesting. We are typically just going to give our um, our elementary schools a climbing frame, add one right here. And then for our elder care, we're going to give them, we're going to give them a trampoline park for our elders because, you know, they need the exercise, right? So give them a trampoline park. That should be good for them. Okay, now that we have all of that done, let's uh, refocus our efforts on the industrial area. So I'm going to uh, create more buildings here, and but you just have to be aware that there's going to be a highway here, right? And you typically want to build the buildings, um, the processing buildings on a flat surface. So here's our flat. So we're gonna put mainly our buildings here just very light up there because as you can see it starts to crack so yeah just be aware of things like that and now we are a small city and already we are over the half a million mark so we are actually getting really really close our income is also at 16k so yeah, that's all you got to do. You got to make sure you have good economy coming in with park life and industries. Once we finish this area, it's just going to get out of control. All right, for now, we are gonna go back into the city because we have a high demand of residential air, air, residential area. And as much as possible, you should not continue building your in industry, especially when it is going to flatline. So what I'm gonna do is I am going to replace some of our uh, low density residential and convert them into high density. So this is what I'm gonna do. And also, since it's been a couple of minutes we should have some educated citizens so that means we can add in uh, offices or IT and I am gonna go for the IT actually let's check our education there you go we have 377 so that is more than enough and the tip for building your offices or commercial is you should not zone too much until you have a sufficient amount of that demand 
so right now we are just gonna put here and we are going to change this up into IT there and this will be our IT uh, oops IT area and then everything else will be high density residential All right, let's work on updating some of our commercial area into high density. Uh, also be very, very careful when doing this. You just want to do small, tiny patches, not an entire area. And typically keep them apart. And at this stage, uh, you notice we're already at 900k in the bank. It is just a matter of time before we reach that 1 million. So what have we accomplished um, nearly at the end? Let's see. Yeah, that's going to be, let's consider a 1 million. So we're at 1 million in the bank with 30 weekly income, more or less. It goes down to 20, I suppose. And then let's check our traffic flow. We are still using this same one from the very beginning and we're at 95 94% traffic flow and there we have it this is the end of this episode next episode we are going to focus on expansion and high density zoning and some uh, transportation again thank you guys for watching there we are we reached our goal and is that 10 to 11k population as i said from the beginning with a 20k weekly income again thank you guys for watching i appreciate it if you have any comments i would really appreciate it feedback will be great uh, here's a last look of the city we are again thank you